Well, it's finally cooled off. It's quarter after seven. I'm going to go move irrigation, but if you notice, the smoke really came in this afternoon. And uh, ah, it's cooled off a lot. My God, we're, we're down to like 99 or 100 degrees right now. It's going to be a comfortable night, I can tell. Somebody still got to go move a traveler and get water flowing. So, you'll all see this tomorrow. Maybe I'll have a good sunrise to go with the sunset you just saw. Got the big one moved. Shutting the hydrant off to the little one because it don't need to be on tonight. I got a little friend here. He jumped over there when I started to close the hydrant. You know how hard that is to keep him on there when it zoomed in that much and I'm only like three feet away from him with the camera. That one's over there, ready to go. Shut this off because I got to take that one in and figure out what's wrong with the clutch. I ain't going to take it in tonight. I got the wrong bike. The two wheel drive bikes won't pull it up the hill unless you got two bikes or you got two or three people, so you got extra weight on a bike. I'll bring the four wheel drive out in the morning and wake the world up with it. Yeah, like normal, camera doesn't catch it all. But there it is, it's finally light enough to see and do this. And yeah, like that, you can see the sprinkler, huh? Oh, isn't that amazing? And get worked across there. Hopefully it's in before it gets too hot. Maybe even get part of the next run done. And I'm going to see what I can figure out on this here in a little bit. Yeah, I figured I'd show you this now that it's actually daylight. By the look of the sky, yeah, straight up you can see blue, but other than that, it's smoke holding some moisture, so there's kind of some clouds, but when the sun really hits those, they are red just like that, so. And I'm dragging butt. Drag butt back into bed if I thought I'd get away with that but yeah I wouldn't even be able to move later so I gotta keep moving well I got the roll pin part way out <clears throat> unfortunately I can't get to the side to pound it out and you know it's kind of blocked from a couple sides so I'm gonna put a hole underneath there I think then I got somewhere to drive it to and that'll get that collar off I hope there's a set screw straight across from right here. I'm not real sure what it does. We've had one of these apart, but God, that was 20 years ago. I don't know. It's been a long time ago. So now I gotta take this one apart. Oh, I was wrong on how that come apart. All that roll pin does is keep that collar from turning. I mean, Unless I take that back out again and maybe it'll unscrew, but I couldn't get it to turn past. There's probably burrs on the slots inside. So, I don't know how to get that SOB apart. Nor how to get in to check stuff. I might have to pull that side panel off and that's not a fun thing to do. We've been there before. It's a pain in the butt. Or I get mad and take the saws all and cut a hole around it we'll see really short run today can't make a corner and go anywhere I got lucky Bruce was kind enough to get a hold of Bauer and he got them to send him some litigature for one an operator's manual for this emailed and for two since that didn't show what I needed to show and he thought it wasn't just an operator's manual I got the parts manual, and there was a little note in there, it said, pull the roll pin, pull that, this comes apart, yeah, this comes out of this, this don't come off the shaft. There's a spring in there somewhere, the end of that shaft has a nub on the end, 
it's all loaded from the other end. So I didn't get it apart, but I got everything freed up and working as it should now. But I got this out and was able to get this freed up so it moved easy. And it locks all the way in. I just haven't done it yet because check here and make sure everything's where it belongs. But I just turned that on. And that one's been up here running for a bit. And as you can see, all day's been like this. That orb's kind of shining through now. But all day's been like this. It did not get to the, you know, with what they were saying in town, we should have been at least 105 plus. Uh, we hit like 99 or 100. Still too freaking much, but all the smoke's holding the humidity in, so it's at least 60% humidity now. Feels like we're well over 100. But, so hopefully this sucker's gonna work like it should. One more thing I gotta do. I gotta finish putting this in low gear. There, that's better. Then, do that. When that gets to the end, you don't want to leave it there because it'll jam it there. Go back a little, that dropped in. And when it takes the slack out, that starts to move. And I'm really surprised when we put that new belt on. The thing will actually run slower now. I don't understand that. I mean, the settings are all pretty much the same, but it actually runs slower and holds up like it should. So with that, I bid you all adieu. Um, I'm going to go in, get my phone plugged in because it's about dead. I'm going to finish watching Grumpy Farmer's live stream. I had to duck out of there so I would come do this for you. And then I'll get my video up in a little bit. So thank you all for watching. And really, I didn't get squat done today other than work on this thing. And move the other one. Twice, once, I don't know. And uh, slept my butt off.